Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lisa and I produce beauty related content here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be a first impression and review over a new foundation by Bare Minerals. It's the Bare Minerals Pro Foundation. Uh, comes in a bottle like this. I just picked this up a few days ago from Ulta. I have worn this foundation once, but to be honest, I didn't really pay a lot of attention to it. I uh, put it on after work because I had dinner with some girlfriends, and so I was in a rush, so I didn't really pay attention to how it sat on the skin, and then I only had it on for a couple hours because we went to dinner and then came home and I washed it off. So I didn't really wear it throughout a full day, so I really have no idea how this foundation performs. Today, I am going to apply it two different ways, one with a brush and one with a beauty blender on one side of the face so that I can see how I like the application best, and then also I'm going to check in with you several times throughout the day to kind of give you an update on how the foundation looks, how it's um, you know settling, if it's settling into any fine lines or pores or any of that stuff, and just see how it performs overall. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I do have my eye makeup on. Um, aside from that, I don't have anything on my skin. I just have my moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera a little bit closer so you guys can actually see this foundation um, a little bit better. Okay, so before we get started, I kind of want to go through the benefits of this foundation according to the website um, and just the features of this foundation. So I have my notes written right there behind me, so don't mind me if I kind of peek over there. So this foundation uh, comes in a bottle like this. You get one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard. Um, it retails for $34. I got mine at Ulta. So it does have an SPF of 20. It does claim to be a long wearing natural matte finish foundation, which really piqued my interest because I do like my foundations to wear all day, especially in the heat of the summer in Texas. And I do like more of a natural, I kind of like the natural matte finish. I don't really like a powdered dry matte finish typically, and I don't really like a glowy finish on me because it doesn't really, uh, I don't really find those foundations to be long wearing. So I like the idea of a natural matte finish. Uh, this foundation claims to be good for the skin. It claims to blur pores. Uh, it says that it's lightweight and oil free and it gives full coverage. Um, it also says that it's photo friendly and it is self setting, meaning you don't have to set it with the powder if you don't want to. So all of those descriptive words that really intrigue me. I think that if this foundation does what it says it does, I'm going to love it. Um, as far as long wearing, it does claim to be a 24 hour wearing foundation, which I don't really know why you would need a foundation to wear for 24 hours, but hey, if it wears, if it wears for 10 hours, I will be happy. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and apply this and see what we think. I'm gonna put my hair back so it doesn't get in the way. I just blow dried it so it's a little bit out of control. I did uh, upload a blow out tutorial video that I'll link down below if you're curious to see how I blow dry my hair. Um, all right, so my skin is in kind of okay condition. I have a blemish here, so we're gonna see if it covers that. Okay, so I picked up the color Sandalwood 15. To be honest, when I was at Ulta and testing out the shades, this looked kind of light to me, but as I increased in the shade range, it just seemed too dark. So I'm thinking that this might be a little bit lighter than I am now because I am very tan, but it's, I can compensate for bronzer. I prefer to have my foundation. If I can't match my foundation exactly, I prefer it to be on the lighter side so that I can just bronze up in certain areas rather than go darker. Oops. I did notice when I was testing these out that they are real messy in the pump. I don't know if, I think it's because all of the I did notice at Ulta when I was testing these shades out that the pumps were really messy and I think it was because they were just brand new bottles and I had to pump it a few times to get the product out. But um, Okay, so it says that one pump does the whole face. So we're gonna try with one pump and see what we think. So looking at it, it is sliding down my hand. So the consistency is liquidy. It's not a thick liquid. Um, so we're gonna see how that translates to the face. First, I'm gonna start with the brush. So I'm gonna apply the right side of my face with a brush and then I'll do the left side with the Beauty Blender. The brush I'm using is the Ultimate Blending Brush by e.l.f. I talked about this in my favorites video. It's kind of my go-to foundation brush at the moment. I like it because it is similar to a Beauty Blender effect because it has that really dense compacted bristles that um, are dome shaped. So it kind of resemble or kind of mimics what a Beauty Blender does. So I'm just gonna press this into the center of my face. I always like to start in the center of my face when I first grab product on my brush because the center of our face is where we tend to have the most blemishes, discoloration, things that we need to cover. So doing that, you're gonna apply the most product in the center of your face, therefore giving you the most coverage there. It's also gonna help you prevent from getting that um, demarcation line around the perimeter of your face. And then I just kind of softly turn my brush in little circles to kind of blend out any edges. So, I 
I do think that this is doing a good job of covering and I like the finish of it. It does look very velvety, very soft matte. It does look like it's kind of blurring out the texture in my skin. I tend to have pores that you can see right here and it does soften those quite a bit. Almost gives it a slight airbrush effect. Okay. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit more, go here on the top of my face and then on the perimeter. This brush is so easy to work with that you almost don't have to do much blending. You can kind of just press it like you would a sponge and it does all the work. I'm gonna just do a little bit on my nose. Okay. Huh, I do like the way this looks. I think it's very nice and pretty. I don't really notice anything off the bat that is a con or that looks bad. Hmm. Okay, so let me take that back. So I tend to have a little bit more like fine hair right here. I'm actually gonna get dermaplaning done soon, which I'm excited about. Um, but I feel like this foundation slightly accentuates that. Yeah, I do feel like it kind of slightly accentuates that. I mean, it's not terrible, but I do notice it. So you just wanna make sure that you blend that out, I think. I think if you blend it out real well, you don't notice it because it is a full coverage foundation though that's probably going to happen with any full coverage if you tend to have a little bit of peach fuzz or hair on the face full coverage foundations are just going to emphasize that so keep that in mind okay so let's take a look so this side has foundation this side has nothing i don't have concealer on at all so keep that in mind um, and i didn't put any under my eye because i am just going to go and conceal that in just a moment so if you want to kind of take a look i think that it did do a pretty good job of covering um, I feel like it covered everything that I wanted it to, but again, the only thing that really stands out to me is on this side. So let's see how it covers over on the other side. All right, so I still am gonna just work off this one pump that I have. I do think that I'm going to need to apply a little bit more though. Oh, yikes, oh my gosh, I almost got that on my white top. Especially since I'm using a beauty blender, I think I definitely will need more than one pump because beauty blender tends to absorb a little bit of that. Yeah. Okay, so the Beauty Blender is giving me a more sheer application. So I'm gonna need more product to get the coverage that I want. If you don't have this foundation brush, the e.l.f. brush, I mean, it's very affordable, so you could probably pick it up pretty easily, but if you don't have that brush, one thing you can do to get a more natural finish is use the foundation brush you have. Okay, so I do like the way that it looks with a beauty blender. Mm, I think that it looks very similar to the brush. I'm not really noticing a big difference in the way that it looks, except that you do have to use more product to get the same finish. So that might be something to think about. If you really like to use a beauty blender because you like how it makes a full coverage foundation look more natural, you can always apply your foundation with a brush and then just go over it with the beauty blender so you don't really use as much product. You don't have to go through as much product, but you still get that same finish. Okay. All right, so you can still see that blemish. I'm just gonna put a little foundation directly on top of that and then blend that out and see if we're able to cover it that way. So we're gonna put that there, and then I'm just gonna go and softly tap my beauty, beauty blender to blend that in. Hmm, you can still see it. Okay, so I don't know that it would it's gonna cover that very well. Um, I can still see it, I mean it did good, it did even that area out. I'm actually happy with that coverage. I like I like more coverage, but I find that when I use something that's full enough coverage to cover something like that, it just looks like way too much makeup to me. So it did not cover that, no, but I'm kind of happy that, I'm, I'm happy with the way that that looks. That doesn't concern me too much. Okay, so let me apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've got all of my makeup on. I'm ready to get started with my day. It's actually 1 p.m. I've been kind of having a lazy morning doing things around the house and I just showered and washed my hair. But today is going to be a pretty long day. We are about to leave in about an hour and we're gonna go to a, um, my daughter has a little pool party to go to, so I'll be outside. And then later after that, we're gonna go to my uh, brother and sister-in-laws and actually stay the night there and the kids are gonna play. We'll probably be outside at their pool too. So I will be checking in with you throughout the day. So even though it's one o'clock, um, I do plan on giving this a good long wear. So before I go, let me take one last look and let you guys know what I think. Okay, so the only place I powdered was under my eyes on my concealer. So I did not powder any of the foundation at all. It says it's self setting. So we're going to put that to the test. Um, looking at it now, I do like the way that it looks. I think it's very pretty. I think that it is uh, blur. I think that it is pore blurring. I mean, not completely. I do still see my pores a little bit, but they are softened. Um, it is full coverage. Like it's starting to set and it looks like a lot of makeup. I don't think that's bad, but it's probably not a foundation that I would want to wear every single day. That's just me. Maybe in one of the temperatures are cooler outside, but in the summer it does look like a lot more makeup, but it looks good. I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, when I raise my brows, it does kind of start to settle in my lines a tad, but I don't know. I feel like I need to give this more time. At first opinion right now, I like it. It's a little heavy. It does look like a lot of makeup. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing, depending on what your preferences are. I think it's pretty though. I think that this is a foundation that I will keep and probably wear on nights out. But let's see how it wears throughout the day. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it is, let's see what time it is. It is 4.28. Um, so the makeup has been on for three and a half hours. Uh, we just got home from a little pool play date that my oldest daughter went to and I was outside for two hours, literally standing outside for two hours. I was in the shade, but it was still really hot. I mean, I was sweating all over my body. Um, so this is the current state of the foundation. I need to get a mirror so I can see. I can see in the screen and it still, it looks like it's holding up pretty well. I'm staying right in front of a window so you can, so the natural light is hitting my face. I feel like that's the best way to see this foundation. Let me grab a mirror so I can kind of report back. Hang on. Okay, so I am looking in a mirror. It looks pretty darn good, you guys. I mean, it's definitely settling like around my smile lines. I can see that, that it is settling there. Um, I mean, it does look like a lot of makeup, but I think for two and a half hours, no, three and a half hours, right? Am I, can I add correctly? <laughs> One to 4.30, that's three and a half hours. Uh, it looks pretty good, especially for being outside. I mean, it's like 100 degrees today, and I was outside literally standing there for two hours, no AC. And it looks like it's held up really well, considering that fact. I mean, it looks good regardless of the heat or not. Even if I were sitting in an office all day, I think it still looks pretty good. It is settling around my front, around my smile lines for sure. Like right here and here and around my nose, it's settling a little bit, but not bad. I mean, I think when you're working with a foundation that's full coverage, that's kind of the compromise that you take a little bit. But um, overall, I think that it looks really good. Three and a half hours, it's 4.30. Um, we are about to get ready to head over to my brother-in-law and sister-in-laws and we're gonna stay the night over there. The kids are gonna play um, and we're just gonna have a little full family slumber party over there. So I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours and let you know I think but so far I really like it even my husband commented that my makeup looked really pretty today so that is good so far yes I I think that this foundation is really nice all right you guys well, I'll check it back in with you shortly okay okay so it is what time is it it is 7 14 um so it's been a couple hours since my last check-in and I think the foundation is holding up pretty well um I'm out here in the I wanted to get some natural light before it gets dark we are at my in, my sister and brother-in-law's and the kids, I'm gonna show you, they're swimming. Kids are all swimming, having a good time. Cousins are having fun. Uh, but I just took a look at my foundation in the mirror and it looks like it's holding up pretty well. I'm actually pretty impressed with this foundation. It definitely is starting to get a little shiny around here and my pores aren't as blurred as they initially were when I first applied it. But overall, I think, so it's 7.15, so it's been about six and a half hours since I applied this. Um, and given that I've been in the heat most of the day today, um, looks pretty good. I'm going to do one more check-in before the end of the night and before I wash it off and um, give you guys my final thoughts. But overall, it looks pretty good. All right, guys. See ya. Hey, guys. Okay, so it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm getting ready to go to bed. So I've had the makeup on all day long. Um, the lighting in here 
Uh, let's see if I can find the best place. Okay, I think that's a good spot. I have a chandelier right above me. Uh, so I looked in the mirror just now and quite honestly, I didn't see a huge change between this check-in and my check-in, which was about almost four hours ago at 7.30. It looks very similar. Um, overall, I think this foundation is pretty awesome. <laughs> yes, it's full coverage, so if you like full coverage, bonus. Yes, it does look full coverage. It doesn't look really natural in my opinion. It does look pretty heavy, but um, it still looks good. I don't know that this would be a foundation for every single day for me because I don't really want this type of look every day, but I think that if you like a full coverage finish every day, this would be a great option for you. Uh, I think that this would be something that I'll go to definitely for my nights out or a day that maybe I'm going to work and I am not gonna really be concerned about touching my foundation up throughout the day. This would be a good option for me. I seriously haven't set, touched my skin with powder or any blotting papers or anything. So after, what is that, 10 hours of wear with half of that time being spent outside in the heat, I think this is pretty impressive. I think it's a good foundation. I think that it does definitely do what it says it's gonna do, which is long wear, natural matte finish, full coverage. Yes, I think I can agree with all of those claims. That is my review of this foundation. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what foundations you want me to review next. Um, I did see that IT Cosmetics was coming out with a new one, uh, so I do hope to get that one and review that one for you guys really soon. But I am going to go to bed. I've had a couple glasses of wine. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.